Hey everyone, it's Bree. I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Spiegel Mom Scraps design team. And I'm going to be working with the Fancy Flight sequin mix that was offered in the National Scrapbook Day bundle. It's currently sold out. I know that Jody has restocked the Rose Gold Glory as well as the Sunflower Flight. Um, I'm not sure if she's able to restock this one, um, but definitely keep an eye out in the shop just in case she does. Uh, I am working with a cut file from Paige Evans, and I am going to be creating some shakers in some of these um, signs that are on this cut file. So I am adhering some acetate to three of the little wooden signs, and I am gluing it down to create windows for my shakers. And I've got Scotch Tacky Glue in my little fine line, bot fine line bottle. And so I've glued down the windows and it's dried fairly well. So I'm going to go ahead and trim um, the excess acetate off of the cut file. And um, then I'm going to go ahead and start adding some foam. Now the tiny or thin foam strips that I'm using are by Dorit. And you can find them at Simon Says Stamp as well as probably some other shops. I have not checked out Amazon so they might be available on Amazon. I'm not sure. They are $1.99 at Simon Says Stamp, and I always wait for like a $5 off five coupon and just kind of stock up um, whenever I need to. So since this cut file is super thin, what I had to do was uh, trim each of the already thin strips in half. Um, and unfortunately, this first one kept sticking to my fingers, and I'm sorry, my head like keeps popping in and out of the frame, so I'm sorry about that. Um, so you see me kind of struggle here with the first one. I don't know why it just kept sticking. I think I had um, it just positioned wrong because the other two went fairly quickly after this. So I just trimmed the, the, the foam strip in half, took off the release paper so that I could manipulate it around the cut file, and that was it. I do cut out the other um, two, and then um, I save you from watching me uh, put the foam strips on the other two and I go straight into filling each little shaker with these beautiful sequins. Again, they're called Fancy Flight and they're gorgeous, they're glittery, they've got the stars and they're, it's such a pretty, pretty mix. So I've spooned my sequins in my little shaker and I'm adding extra glue to make sure that my sequins um, shaker is sealed and none of the little tiny stars um, fall out of it. And I'm trying to remember if I show y'all, or actually, no, I didn't do the other windows. I'm sorry. I did the first shaker and then I completed the rest of them. So that's what they look like. They're so pretty. I love them so, so much. Um, and I just stuck some, let's see, I know this is Paige Evans' paper behind my shaker to close it. And I can't remember which one it is. Um, but the purple paper that I have down at the bottom that I'm going to be using for my layout, that is by Chamel in her Sparkle City collection. And I got all these papers from my April Hip Kid Club kit. So I have um, backed all of my shaker elements and then I've also um, backed the rest of the cut file and I'm adding some foam strips to the uh, other signs that didn't have shakers to make sure that my um, entire cut file is level and um, is not going to be like all wonky. So since I add dimension to the three shakers, I needed to add dimension to the other um, parts of my sign. The photo I'm using is of my oldest son, Noah. He was standing on the beach um, in the, in the, uh, at, at North Shore. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> can't talk tonight. Um, and he was just standing there looking all handsome. So I snapped his photo and, um, yeah, it was just a day we had gone up to get some shave ice and thought we'd just walk along the beach and hang out. And it was a great day. So I backed it with some, um, pocket life cards from my kit and I'm adhering all, everything down. Let's see what else am I doing? Um, I'm trying to think. The only mixed media I do add on here is some paint, and I'll get to that um, here in just a second. I did want to add some words in this sign, and I put um, Hala Eva, because that's where we were, and um, I wanted to add some other, like, stick, like text on those signs, you know, because it's kind of like one of those signs that you find on a, on a road when you're at a crossroads where it shows you, you know, how many miles to a certain city. 
Um, but I also wanted to embellish it. So I did add some text like using ephemera, um, like that top one that says adventure or waits. And then I do one, I do add one that says travel. And I think I add another one that says wanderlust. So the only location I actually have is Hale Eva. And, um, um, but I do embellish the rest of it. So let's see. Oh, here's where I do add some of the white splatters. I love how the white paint, um, looks on the pattern paper. It just really stands up and looks pretty. And that is a ooh, acrylic paint marker I got off Amazon. And then I um, used the leftover paint that I had on my mixed media mat to add some smaller splatters around my page. So I let this dry and I went back the next day. Um, I did add some stitching around um, my page. And I sped this portion up because uh, it looks like I'm really fussy cutting that fast. I honestly wish I could fussy cut that fast. <laughs> but I sped it up because I didn't want you to have to sit and watch me fussy cut that tiny flower out. Um, so I'm just going through the 2x2 two two, uh, Horizon Pad by Paige Evans, and I'm fussy cutting some things out. And hopefully this is uh, looks okay on your end because it skipped a little bit when I'm doing my voiceover, like the frames. So hopefully it, it's pretty smooth. I hope so. <laughs> um, here's where I tear off this word that says Wanderlust and create a little um, banner tag. Not a banner tag, but a little banner. And then I'm going to fussy cut this flower, and uh, I want to also tuck this along uh, inside my side as well. I really wanted to add that moped up at the top. This is like the second project that I've wanted to add a moped element to it, and I have yet to find out, or I have yet to find a layout that I can add it onto. I had foam um, all over the bottom of my sign, so I really couldn't tuck as much as I wanted to in there. Uh, that was my original plan was to tuck a bunch of stuff underneath it, but I had my foam um, extending out to the edges probably a little too much and I couldn't really tuck as much as I wanted to. So just a lesson for next time. All right, so here is where I'm going to go ahead and start adhering some of the images that I had fussy cut. Um, I've got these suitcases and then I'm pulling a few pieces from the Horizon Ephemera pack. Uh, I did fussy cut that You Are My World globe. And there's the Love You heart that I fussy cut as well, but I did choose that airmail uh, postage stamp ephemera piece. And then I cut this little circle piece in half thinking I was going to use it, but it never made it to my layout. Um, I did fussy cut that word travel and put that on a sign. And then I trimmed this little tag because I wanted some of that green on my other, on the left side, because uh, I did have that green that's in that flower cluster by Wanderlust um, on my sign. So I wanted to carry that green over to the other side. Popped uh, some foam or a foam dot underneath that globe to keep it even. And then I'm gonna go around and glue down some of these tiny um, fussy cut flowers that I had cut from the two by two paper pad. And they're so cute. They were so much fun. They're kind of, it was a little tedious to cut those little tiny uh, flowers out, but it was so worth it when I could tuck them on, around the sign. And uh, yeah, I just love how it looks. Just tucking these cute little flowers and making sure I have the, uh, the colors spread evenly amongst my page. And just, I love how this one turned out. It was so much fun to create little shakers and then this whole cut file was um, so cute. I pull out the chipboard stickers from Horizon, and I think I only pull a few pieces. Most of these pieces are a little bit large for uh, my sign. I didn't want it to completely overshadow my sign, so I think I just went with this flower and then this really cute dragonfly. I think that's a dragonfly. I think. Or is it a butterfly? I'm not sure. A moth? Maybe? One of those. <laughs> uh, but I did carry over some more of that green to the right. Uh, and then adhered that heart and I think I'm done. Yeah, I show you how it shakes and uh, There's my code Brianna 15 to save you 15% off in the shop. Here is my final layout I love how this turned out. Thank you so much for commenting watching and subscribing and we'll see you in the next one. Bye